What do you need to know about boarding house rules? G'day, I'm Max Frager, Council Approval Group. Small question, what do you need to know about boarding house rules? We have a range of our experts that have become um, very conversant on the boarding house rules and it's taken them some time. It is complex, unfortunately, but the, work, the result for doing a boarding house is worth the effort. Um, there are state rules um, which apply across the state, but even within those state rules, they can vary from zone to zone, area to area. Then each council tends to have their own boarding house rules. There are national standards, um, Australian standards related to fire separation construction standards. They're there. So just answering the question, what are boarding house rules? That's where we start. We need to look at all of those areas and then we need to equate that with the site and the zone and the local government area and say, can you do a boarding house here? And then fairly quickly get to a point when you put all those rules together and you do a bit of a concept, then you can say, yes, we can get 12 boarding house rooms on that site or we can't. Um, so if you'd like to go ahead, it's a great facility. It's a great accommodation for doctors and nurses and teachers and police and whatever, and you'll find real satisfaction in accommodating them. And I think you'll have a great place. So if you'd like to move to the next step, um, give us a call or go to our website and book a consultation and we'd love to do it. It's a really valid outcome if we can do it.